Part of, part of the reasons our politics are inflamed is we do not have an unbiased uh, media. We don't. It's unfortunate. I'm all for a free press. Well, it needs Senator, to be more unbiased. Senator, There's look, misinformation is, look, on both partisan, sides, but the Senator, censorship and Senator, suppression look, we're trying to primarily do issues occurs here, in from fact, the left. Partisan cable, look, you can go back on your partisan cable cocoon and talk about media bias all you want. I understand it's part of your identity. Yeah, you couldn't understand it because he's talking over to me. He doesn't interview me. He argues with me. As you just saw, Ron Johnson accused Chuck Todd of being biased, and then Chuck Todd subsequently told Ron Johnson to go back to his partisan cable cocoon, and he did just that. Now, I've just got to say first and foremost that I'm actually shocked to see somebody in the mainstream media be this adversarial with someone in power, because we usually don't see that. Usually, these news pundits, especially Chuck Todd, are passive. They're deferential towards power, whereas the media is supposed to be this fourth branch of government to hold elites accountable. So when you actually see them do their job, it's pretty shocking. And I've got to give credit where it's due, even if it pains me because I don't like Chuck Todd. He did a great job there at really exposing the hypocritical nature of Ron Johnson and other Republicans. So you're going to see why Ron Johnson resorted to accusing Chuck Todd of bias and how that got really heated. It's because he was trying to talk about Hunter Biden, but Jared Kushner came up, and as you're going to see, Ron Johnson wasn't really sure how to respond to that, so he just kind of threw his hands up and cried bias to deflect. Let's watch. Senator, do you have a crime that you think Hunter Biden committed? Because I've yet to see anybody explain it is not a crime to make money off your last name. So, Chuck, you ought to read the Marco Polo report. Uh, where they detail all kinds of potential crimes. You know, Senator Grassley, oh, I certainly oh, oh, let me uncovered just stop you there. the... Potential. Uh, about, this about, is... About, 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 potential about, is about, about 30000 About $30,000. That's $30, why you do investigation. I mean, it, Chuck... Chuck, Chuck, is it a crime to be uh, soliciting and purchasing uh, prostitution in potentially European sex trafficking operations? Is that a crime? Because Chuck Grass and I laid out about $30,000 uh, paid by Hunter Biden to uh, those types of, of individuals over uh, December 2018, 2019, about $30,000. This is about the same time that President Biden uh, offered to pay about $100,000 of oh, Hunter Biden's sure. bills. Again, that's that's just some information. I, I don't know exactly. Here's what I don't get. All right, Senator. It doesn't doesn't really look I, on the. It, it sounds sleazy, as you know. I'll what. take your I'll, t I'll, t I'll take it your word that you're ethically bothered by Hunter Biden. I'm curious, though. You seem are, to have are, a pattern. Are you not? I, I are seem you to have not? a pattern. I, I'm a journalist. I have are, to deal are you, in facts. Are you not? Are you not I deal in facts. You, it says, Senator, my question to you is. Uh, I'm always worried. I, I have skepticism of both parties. I sit here with skepticism. A lot of people's work, and I'm curious. So are you? Were you at all concerned? Uh, this, your Senate Democrats want to investigate Jared Kushner's uh, loan from the Qatari government when he was working in the government negotiating uh, many things in the Middle East. Are you not as concerned about? The, are you not concerned about that? And I say that because it seems to me if you're concerned about what Hunter Biden did, you should be equally outraged about what Jared Kushner did. I, I'm I'm concerned about getting the truth. I don't target individuals. Target individuals. You, I you target don't. You're targeting Hunter Biden. My, my, my concern, times my concern, on this show, my, Senator. You're targeting an Chuck, individual. Chuck, my, my concern. My, my, you know, Chuck. You know, part, part of the problem, and, and this is pretty obvious to anybody watching this, is you don't invite me on to interview me. You invite me on to argue with me. You know, I'm just trying to lay out the facts that certainly Senator Grass and I uncovered. They were suppressed. They were censored. They interfered in the 2020 election. Conservatives understand that. Unfortunately, liberals in the media don't. And that's part of the things yeah. that, uh, part, part of the reasons our politics are inflamed is we do not have an unbiased uh, media. We don't. It's unfortunate. I'm all for a free press. Well, it needs Senator, to be more unbiased. Senator, There's look, misinformation is, look, on both partisan, sides, but the Senator, censorship and Senator, suppression look, we're trying to do issues here from fact, the left. Partisan cable, look, you can go back on your partisan cable cocoon and talk about media bias all you want. I understand it's part of your identity. Let me move to what happened in Brazil. That clip is so much funnier knowing that Ron Johnson literally did go back to his partisan cable cocoon and talked about how mean Chuck Todd was to him. It's just embarrassing. Like Republicans have absolutely no shame. Now, I love the deer in headlights look from Ron Johnson when the name of Jared Kushner came up. He just said, uh, well, I, I, you know, um, 
I don't like to talk about individuals, but as Chuck Todd pointed out, you're talking about Hunter Biden. So what do you mean you don't like to talk about individuals? You just don't want to talk about individuals on your team. But when it comes to Hunter Biden, well, you're trying to find some scandal to tie Biden to. And that's all you care about. Now, listen, let me be very clear about this. Ron Johnson doesn't care about Hunter Biden. Nobody cares about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden is the son of a president who unethically used his name to enrich himself. I think that that is wrong. I hate nepotism, but it's something that is a very common phenomenon in the United States. However, if you do care about the Hunter Biden story, well, you should be much more outraged, not equally outraged, as Chuck Todd pointed out, but much more outraged about Jared Kushner. Now, to me, the Jared Kushner story, and we'll get to that story in the Hunter Biden scandals as well, I think that it is much more serious because Jared Kushner was a member of government. He used his position of power to further enrich himself. This is something that politicians do all the time, and it's gross. There should be much more... Um, laws preventing them from self-serving behavior, but this is a common phenomenon. But as Chuck Todd alluded to, again, if the Hunter Biden story makes you nauseous, the Jared Kushner story should make you much more nauseous. But that's not the case, and it's because Republicans don't really care about anything but getting Democrats, trying to get Joe Biden. Now, He's really stretching here, trying to implicate Joe Biden in the Hunter Biden scandals. So there's a Daily Mail article which contends that Hunter Biden paid for sex workers, and he did so by disguising the checks to sex workers as medical services payments. And there is evidence of this. That's true. But the way that Republicans are trying to tie Joe Biden to this is, well, you see, he gave his son, Hunter Biden, money at the time. So did he knowingly pay for sex workers or did he just inadvertently finance his son's um, illicit behavior? I mean, there's no evidence of this. It's certainly uh, necessary to have some sort of investigation and there is that. But to try to make this big deal of this, that's one thing. I think it's fine if you care about that. But to care about that exclusively, but turn a blind eye to the Jared Kushner behavior, that's where the issue comes in. Do you understand? So before we show you Ron Johnson on Fox News, let's talk about both of these scandals because they are indeed serious. And when it comes to the Hunter Biden story, there is a there there. It's just that there isn't necessarily evidence of criminality so much as there's evidence that he broke the law and could face civil penalties we're talking about fines but in terms of him being this like huge criminal that's not necessarily the case the new york times explains the real hunter biden story is complex and very different in important ways from the narrative promoted by republicans but troubling in its own way after his father became vice president hunter biden a 52 year old yale educated lawyer forged business relationships with foreign interests that brought him millions of dollars raised questions about whether he was cashing in on his family name set off alarms among government officials about potential conflicts of interest and provided republicans an opening for years Years of attacks on his father. Investigators have poured over documents related to and questioned witnesses about his overseas business dealings. They include his role on the board of Burisma, a Ukrainian energy company led by an oligarch who at the time was under investigation for corruption, a position that Hunter accepted while his father as vice president was overseeing Obama administration policy in Ukraine. They also include his equity stake in a Chinese business venture and his failed joint venture with a Chinese tycoon who had Reported well-connected Americans in both parties. At one point, he gave Hunter Biden a large diamond as a gift, but was later detained by Chinese authorities. So without question, Hunter Biden is the beneficiary of nepotism, as many children of presidents are. And let's be very clear, he got the job at Burisma because Burisma wanted to influence Joe Biden the vice president. Now, whether or not that had any influence on Joe Biden, I think is worth investigating. It's worth looking into. But in terms of actual criminal wrongdoing, there is evidence, but it's not 
the evidence that the Republican Party is focused on. It's more civil offenses. And Delaware's Attorney General David Weiss, who has the authority to charge Hunter Biden, is less focused on the more salacious elements of the Hunter Biden scandal and is more fixated on his inability to meet tax filing deadlines or whether or not he falsely claimed that $30,000 in business expenses weren't actually for business expenses. And he also allegedly lied while filling out a form to purchase a handgun in 2018. So in terms of whether or not Hunter Biden is going to go to jail for any of this, it seems really unlikely. The actual things that they can prove that he broke the law on reportedly are tax things. He'll get a slap on the wrist or face a penalty. And listen, I think that you can absolutely think that Hunter Hunter Biden's behavior is unethical and wrong. But here's the thing. If you're going to be mad about that, you've also got to be mad about Jared Kushner, whose actions were exponentially more unethical. Now, I'll link you to a Washington Post article that fully details the scandal that Chuck Todd referenced, but there's more than just that one instance of Jared Kushner using his influence to personally enrich himself. The Washington Post reports, in December of 2016, as Kushner worked on Trump's transition team, he met with representatives of a Chinese insurance firm regarding potentially investing in the property the New York Times reported. Kushner also met with a Russian banker but told Congress that family business was not discussed, although the bank has said they talked about promising business lines and sectors. Jared Kushner played a significant role in policy affecting Qatar. He had helped persuade Trump to strengthen ties with Saudi Arabia during a May 2017 visit to the Arab nation. The day after the Trump administration ended, Kushner created a private equity firm for which he obtained a $2 billion investment from Saudi Arabia's public investment fund. The fund is headed by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who the CIA has said ordered the murder of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, a Washington Post contributing columnist. But I'm sure that all of this was just a coincidence. Now, look, will we find evidence of a quid pro quo between Jared Kushner and these Arab countries? Probably not, because most of these politicians are savvy enough to cover their tracks. And even when there is a conflict of interest that's incredibly brazen, our laws with regard to corruption are so lax that it's usually not sufficient to prosecute. So I don't think that he's going to get into trouble. And this is a common phenomenon in the United States. But what I am saying is that if you find the Hunter Biden story absolutely scandalous, but the Jared Kushner story doesn't bother you, you're a hack. You're a hack. Now, look, I, for one, don't play team politics. And I think that every single presidential administration, along with all of their shitty children, should go straight from the White House to The Hague until we hear from the individuals who their policies affected, both domestic and foreign. So all of the victims who had families die in drone strikes from these presidents should be able to come forward and testify against our U.S. presidents. Um, I think that everyone in the U.S. government who has invested in these companies that su they're supposed to be regulating, Democrat or Republican, should either be impeached, removed from Congress forcibly, or face jail time because that is deeply, deeply unethical and corrupt. I think that you shouldn't be able to vote on policies if a particular industry who's affected by those policies donated to your campaign. That's a conflict of interest. So there is an issue with corruption in the United States. But these Republicans, they're not consistent like I am or like you are. They don't actually care about the specific details. It's all about team sports. So if they can get the Democrats for something and somehow tie Joe Biden to the Hunter Biden scandal and claim, well, was that money that Hunter Biden was given by his father used for sex workers? Was that intentional? Is, you know, Joe Biden funding the illicit lifestyle of his son? If they can do that, that's all that they care about at the end of the day. They don't actually care about the substance. It's just about team sports. It's just about politics, not the details. They don't care about corruption or conflicts of interest or nepotism or ethics violations, because if they did, they would be more consistent on this issue. But with that being said, I do want to talk about how Ron Johnson decided to go back to Fox News after Chuck Todd told him to. And he basically just whined about how mean Chuck Todd was to him. And he tried to bring up the Hunter Biden story while not addressing Jared Kushner, because, of course, let's watch. What were you trying to say about 30,000? Because that particular point was when he really leaned in. 
Yeah, you couldn't understand because he's talking over to me. He doesn't interview me. He argues with me. But Hunter Biden, uh, and we, we have records that show about $30,000 were paid to prostitutes, uh, probably uh, individuals associated with the Eastern uh, European sex trafficking ring. Uh, $30,000. That same time period, in, in, the, in the midst of that five-month period, over two months, Joe Biden committed to apparently wire Hunter Biden about $100,000. So was the president of the United States, or at that point in time, the former vice president, uh, financing Hunter Biden's uh, illegal activity with, uh, with prostitutes? I love how he's like, oh, well, see, as soon as I brought up this scandal involving Hunter Biden and the specifics of it, that's when, you know, I was I was shut down by Chuck Todd. But you did the same exact thing with regard to the Jared Kushner story, which you conspicuously did not mention here. So, again, Ron Johnson is a hack. He does not care about what Hunter Biden or Jared Kushner is doing. This is all about team politics, and he's trying to score one over against the other team. That's literally all that this is about. Anytime a Republican brings up Hunter Biden, I think that you can sufficiently conclude that they don't actually care about that story. Nobody cares about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden was not a government official. Jared Kushner was. But if you care about Hunter Biden, as I repeated earlier, you really have to care about the Jared Kushner story. And really, to make a logical leap, all of the instances of corruption in governments. It's frustrating to me how so many Republicans will point out Democratic Party corruption, but not mention corruption on their own side. And to be fair, Democrats do that too, right? But at least some Democrats are at least more logically consistent. For example, Ilhan Omar was talking about how there needs to be an investigation into Biden's mishandling of classified documents. So all that we're asking here is for a little bit of consistency. But the reason why we're not getting that is because, again, these politicians don't care about that. They don't care about the details of the story. They just care about the political angle. That's it, period, full stop. And Chuck Todd, I think, brilliantly demonstrated that in this interview. So I hope that we see more of this from pundits because that was very effective at pointing out the hypocrisy of some of these Republican politicians. You know, you, you, you know, you know the, you know the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man.